Down the rabbit hole we go here. So first, what is the byte code? So the byte code is technically a type of machine code, but it's not binary yet. Not there yet. That's because it's going to be interpreted by the JVM into that later on. But it's actually that dot class file that when you and I compile in Java, we can actually do that with their compilation if we happen to do it manual with Javic with a C meaning compile in our program. But then it'll need to be run on any machine that has a JVM with just simply Java and then the name of the program itself. Now again, this won't work unless we have the JVM installed on that particular machine. So heads up with that part first. Now when we get to the machine code, that's the lowest level or aka the binary code on getting it to run for that very specific machine, that very specific CPU setup, that very specific architecture that that particular computer has. And then the binary code literally is the ones and zeros. And again, that's only going to happen after it's the bytecode has been translated by the interpreter in the JVM and then done for the execution. As a matter of fact, you see the ones and zeros being highlighted there. So that's the overall process from bytecode to the binary code.